Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Only teen to skip walkout leaves everyone speechless with what was found at her desk. Exactly one month after the horrific tragedy in Parkland, Florida, students at schools across the nation walked out of their classrooms, thinking that somehow that would change gun policy and impose more control over people's Second Amendment rights. However, what hasn't gotten the attention that's truly deserved, is the very few students who stayed in their seats while their entire school walked out and what they endured by doing so, and specifically, what was found at one girl's desk who didn't protest, but left everyone speechless. Elizabeth Busticker is a ninth grader at South Davis Junior High, who wasn't among the mass majority of the kids at her school who seemed to blindly follow a few people's lead and walk out of school with the rest of the student body. Sure it would have been easier to meld into the herd and not be judged in the one who strayed away from it, but Elizabeth stayed true to herself and made the most important statement of the day that had nothing to do with relinquishing people's rights. It wasn't an easy decision as almost all of her classmates stood up and stepped out, but Elizabeth stayed put. Fox 13 reported of the bountiful Utah girl who stood her ground by staying in her seat. Some people walked past our classroom in the halls, kind of gave me these looks, but I just felt like I was doing the right thing standing up for what I believe in, Elizabeth said. She admits that she doesn't agree with what the national school walkout represents, adding that it's not stricter gun laws that prevent these shootings, it's something else, which she realized she has the ability to change. She did that while others protested with the simple act that if the entire school had done instead of walking out, could have made a much bigger difference than standing outside with signs. While Elizabeth was at her desk for hours, she simply wrote letters. She made each one personal because they all carried a massive message that the signs outside didn't. Instead of walking out with the crowd, she walked up to people individually and handing them a heartfelt note, with words catered to each individual person that they may need to hear to feel noticed, important, appreciated, and valuable. We wrote 17 thank you notes to 17 different people in our lives to honor the lives, Elizabeth explained of her mission to make a real difference of what's the actual root of the mass shooting issue. Kids feel worthless, insignificant, bullied, and rejected, these are common emotional denominators of outcasts who become killers, it's made me a little scared at school, but I really made a huge effort to help these kids who look like they need a little extra help or a little more kindness in their day, Elizabeth said. It's not guns who kill people. It's people who kill people, she added. Elizabeth and other students across the country who were small in number but big in their statement are the real heroes. Many of these well-raised teens who sat in their seats as others walked out around them were scowled at, ridiculed, and taunted, as people passed by their desks, yet they stayed anyway. They are also the ones who have made an effort to talk to the losers who need someone to know they exist. This alone can prevent that outcast from committing a heinous crime, not collectively getting up and walking out of school. Let's promote compassion, not control. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.